This is McCook's Mr. Bill. It's an honor to have you here. I'm just out here enjoying a little bit of fire in the evening, the end of the day. And uh, before I take a, a nap and then I'll head out and hit the graveyard shift at the bakery all night. But a little fire is kind of enjoyable and I always do my best, best to keep it non-smoke. No smoke coming off of it. No wood burning smoke to irritate the neighborhood. Uh, plus it also says that you're there, you know. You know, in a time of survival, you might want to be as low profile as possible and yet stay warm. So you need to learn how to do that type of thing. You need to learn today because tomorrow, if you need it, it might be too late to start learning. But at the same time, you might be interested in how to make a smoky fire so that you can be found or seen. Uh, to the very point of making a smoke bomb, if you will. And you don't want uh, components like you don't want fuse. I borrowed this from one of my friends that uh, has fireworks and makes them. But uh, you don't want anything like that because that is a bomb making material that could get you in trouble with law enforcement. And there's so many rules and regulations that uh, could get you in trouble. And I don't want you in trouble. I don't want the law enforcement to destroy your life just uh, when you're just trying to have fun or learn a skill. So there is a way though to have a nice effective smoke bomb so that you can be found if you're lost or to draw attention to you or to be used in a number of survival situations in the day after. And here's one of them. One of the things you need is just an old one gallon tin coffee uh, or they have them for old like beans and different uh, vegetables. They'll be in these old big heavy ones. You can get them from most uh, any uh, restaurant, things like that, and they'll gladly give them to you so they don't have to throw them away. At least I've had that luck. Get you maybe some straw and grass and stuff like that. Just shove down in there. So all you have to do is just get a bunch of it, shove it down in there. Not pack too tightly, but you can get enough in there. And that should be, there is your smoke bomb. Nice little thing. Everybody should keep one of these in their car anyway. But if you want to be seen, this is one of the ways to do it. And it's free, and everything about it is. And how do you light it? Now we'll just use a little stick for the fuse. You just stick that down in there. That's all you'll have to do. Now you don't have any holes in the can. The reason for that is you don't want it to get the air. The air would catch it on fire way too quickly. Way too quickly. You want it to simmer and draw heat and smoke as much as you can. Notice this fire compared to that fire. No smoke, smoke. Real simple. Both are free, both are usable. In a right situation, either one might just save your life. This is McCook's Mr. Bill trying to keep you safe and legal. Always legal. Rate this film.